Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best desktop speakers in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'm trying to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check out the links in the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. Number 5. Logitech Z533 Logitech has been building quality speakers with consumers applauding the build, quality and affordability of their models. Logitech always takes the time to produce some of the best packaging for their products that both look great and keep their content safe and secure while being shipped, and the Logitech Z533 speakers are no different. The box is quite large, as you would expect, and is made of a sturdy cardboard with matte colouring. The subwoofer unit is a separate speaker on its own, housed in black cloth. The subwoofer isn't as big as a lot of other PC speaker setups, which is great as it means it easily tucks away either under or next to the desk. The Logitech Z533 2.1 speakers do an excellent job in providing quality sound without hogging a lot of space. When you play music through them, you'll notice a quick and rich bass response and sound depth. It's obvious these speakers aren't a typical Dolby Surround Sound 7.1 setup, but they're comparable to a set of quality studio speakers and they sound great. If you're currently looking for affordable speakers, it's certainly worth giving the Logitech Z533 2.1 a try. The system boasts some of the best quality in terms of product design and sound. Everything from unboxing the set to testing out sound capability is top-notch without any downside. Number 4. Mika PB42X The PB42X is a powered version of Mika's upgraded MB42X, which introduced a new crossover and improved upon the already solid and popular MB42. A powered speaker simply means the necessary amplification is built in, so you don't need a separate amplifier or receiver. Unlike the passive MB42X, the PB42X plugs right into the wall and your device, and it's ready to go. The speakers otherwise essentially look the same. Each speaker has a small, roughly 1-inch rear-firing port. Input or compatibility is pretty minimal. On the right parent speaker, you've got a 3.5mm or RCA input to connect to your device, and that's it. Then you've got the power adapter input, of course, a simple on-off switch, and then a volume knob which I wish was in the front, but oh well. The speakers are rated at 15 watts per channel, though I've read rumours that a separately purchased larger 24 volt adapter will get more power and volume out of the amp, but do so at your own risk. Even so, these are definitely intended to be near or midfield speakers. The PB42X is, as of the time of this writing or update, likely the best sounding and most performant powered bookshelf speaker for the price. Number 3. Klipsch R41M Few loudspeaker brands are as well known as Klipsch, and while some audiophiles snub their sound as being loud and unrefined, others praise their exciting dynamics. For a long time, the Klipsch R14M and R15M were among the best-selling budget bookshelf speakers, and the 2018 R41M and R51M are their direct successors in the reference series. Today, we'll be looking at the smaller R41M. Clip speakers are known for being able to produce a lot of sound for their size, and the R41M are no exception. The 4-inch spun copper IMG woofer and 1-inch aluminium LTS tweeter, mated to a 90 by 90 square Tractrix horn, can deliver a whopping 50 watts of continuous power handling and 200 watts of peak power handling. The 90 decibel sensitivity at 1 watt means the R41Ms also don't require a lot of power to deliver a big sound. The 1-inch tweeter square dome is horn-loaded, a signature design choice from Klipsch. The exclusive linear travel suspension, or LTS, is designed to minimize distortion for enhanced detailed performances. Material-wise, the Captain Aluminium Blend is an extremely light and rigid material used in the tweeter suspension to provide high efficiency and improve resolution and detail. Klipsch have done well with the latest iteration of the reference series. The R41Ms only pack 4-inch woofers, but you could easily be fooled into thinking the sound was coming from something much bigger. Number 2. Edifier R1280T The Edifier R1280T is another amazing speaker system. These speakers deliver rich, balanced audio and they come with an adjustable EQ for a pretty affordable price. These speakers are one of the best because even though they're not as pricey as other high-end speakers, they still deliver amazing sound quality and they can get pretty loud too. I should also mention that each speaker packs a 13mm silk dome tweeter, a port to allow the drivers to perform more efficiently and to move air, and a 4-inch woofer. The first thing I noticed on the right speaker was that there is also a recessed area housing three knobs. At the top it has the one for treble, on the middle for bass, and on the lowest knob for volume. 
I would highly recommend this product to anyone who wants to buy a good speaker system that provides high quality sound and has great features. The build quality is top notch and the design of these speakers is very stylish. If you want to enjoy better music and better sound quality, make sure to check out the Edifier R1280T because they won't let you down. Number 1. Audio Engine A2 Plus As our top pick, we have the amazing Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. The Audio Engine A2 Plus is a compact set of attractively styled powered stereo speakers that delivers impressive sound for its size. This new Plus version adds a digital USB connection, an output for an optional subwoofer to the existing two audio inputs, and a redesigned smaller power connector. The key thing to note about these speakers and Audio Engine's Step Up A5 Plus is that they're bookshelf-style speakers masquerading as PC or multimedia speakers. The smaller 2 Series is more stylish-looking than the 5 Series and looks less like a monitor speaker and comes in both black and white, as does the larger A5 Plus. The Audio Engine 2 Plus speakers measure 6 inches high by 4 inches wide by 5.25 inches deep. They each have a 2.75 inch Kevlar woofer and a 0.75 inch silk dome tweeter. Because the left speaker houses the amplifier, 15 watts per channel, it's heavier than the right speaker. Since the A2 Plus's most significant upgrade from the original A2 is its built-in USB digital converter, we started listening to the A2 Plus on a desktop hooked up to our Mac Mini computer. The sound was definitely up to audiophile standards, just on a smaller scale than what we'd hear from a bona fide hi-fi system. Like with the original A2s, we have no problem recommending the Plus version of the product. If you're looking for a set of compact, good-looking PC speakers that deliver great sound for their size, the Audio Engine A2 Plus certainly fits the bill. Buying Guide Firstly, sound quality. If your speakers don't sound good to you, it doesn't matter how nice they look or how expensive they are, they aren't good speakers. The ultimate goal of any speaker system is to improve your computer's sound quality. They should amp up the sound on your gaming rig and potentially extend that beautiful sound to your phone, tablet or laptop. While almost any speaker system will be a marked improvement over your desktop, laptop or monitor's default sound, knowing how much better that sound can be is important. Secondly, design. More so than any other piece of audio equipment, your computer speaker's aesthetics are important. These will be on display for you and your guests to see. Normally, we whine about ugly designs and that's about where it ends. We don't typically let aesthetics determine what sort of equipment to buy, but when it comes to speakers, how they look matters a lot more to us. The perfect pair of speakers complements your space. And thirdly, controls. Some like it simple, they want an on-off button and a volume knob. Some want a bit more control with individual dials for low, mid and high end. Some want a physical controller, some want an app, some just want their phone's volume buttons to control their speaker's volume. There's no right answer on what the best option is. If you don't know what you're supposed to do with it and don't care to learn, an extra dial isn't much of an advantage. If you're just going to let it run out of batteries or lose it in a couch, the controller isn't much help either. Our best advice is to be honest with yourself and figure out exactly what features you need. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.